Jeff, welcome to Robins TV and to the Robins High Performance Centre on the weekend of the 40th anniversary of the Ashgate Eight. Um, just how has it been to be back at the club and be welcomed in by Richard Gould and, and the staff today? Well, I, I think it's it's been superb. I mean, I'll be totally honest. It's been an eye opener, and it's been absolutely superb. I think that what you have here is just absolutely amazing. It's very impressive. Obviously, it's. <laughs> the world of football has changed a lot. We were talking about it previously. Um, an amazing facility up here and obviously down at Ashton Gate as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still go. I go I go with friends to um, Ashton Gate and the facilities are second to none. It's a proper day out. It's, you know, when I went, you could get a cup of bovril and a pie if you were lucky. Now you can have a three-course meal, you know. So it's everything here, down there. It's all improved and it's all, all in, improved to make better facilities and better football. Um, just for me, it sort of overalls my feeling of football when most of my football was rough and ready. It was, you know, the facilities were rough and ready. The football match was rough and ready. Now it's such a silky, um, pleasant type of thing, which is... Not quite my style. <laughs> Obviously, this is all part of a very poignant weekend yes. in terms of the anniversary. Um, how has it been to see your teammates, etc., that you were previously um, with? Yeah, yeah, my teammates. Well, I mean, it's been lovely. I mean, we, we don't get together very often. But um, when we do, it's as if we haven't ever been apart, you know, because most of us came to Bristol as young players. And went through to the first team, got Bristol City promotion to the first division. Um, and all that time, we used to socialise together. We were always out together. Everything was done en masse. So to see them again today is wonderful. And obviously, we've got another day tomorrow. So it's, it's, it's super duper, yeah. It's a real brotherhood that you've got, really, especially after everything that you've been through and, and everything that you've shared. Well, I think what we had to go through back in uh, 1982 was dreadful, yes. absolutely dreadful. It was um, immoral. It was not anything that should have been done to players who had given so much to the club. Um, but for now, um, everything's put behind us and we're here to enjoy ourselves. So we'll just carry on with that and hope that at the end of all this, when we look back, um, maybe it's a means of just taking these awful memories away. Your actions along with your teammates obviously saved the club. And this is a club that you hold very dear in your heart. You were a young lad who grew up 10 minutes away from Ashton Gate. Um, so being back there tomorrow in front of over 20,000 fans is, is going to be a very poignant moment. Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I, I hope we don't let anyone down and I hope it's as good as... I think it possibly can be. Um, we, we have we have been in front of them before for other occasions, and we've be, always been received very well. So I'm I'm hoping there won't be too many stones being thrown or anything like that. So I mean I'm looking forward to it, and I, and I'm sure that um, what's happening at this particular moment, historically, football clubs need their history. They they need to have a history. And I think this will clear it all up a bit and then we can push on knowing that the Ashton Gate 8, they didn't put the city in massive trouble because they were earning too much money. They helped the city because they tore up their contracts and put their family and their friends under immense pressure to re-establish another life. So looking at what you have here at this particular moment, I think it's uh, been well worthwhile. I'm very sure there will not be any stones thrown at the weekend. Um, but obviously, yourself and the, the other guys that are, are here today, um, on behalf of Bristol City, we would like to thank you for everything that you've done uh, for the club. Obviously, today we wouldn't be here without you guys.